Why, hello everyone, it's January 15th, and this is episode 10 of the News As I See It. Okay, so up first we just have some follow-up information on ArcGage. It's leaving open beta testing soon, I believe. I believe it's about to be released full-on in Korea, which is awesome news because that means more legitimate streaming and videos. It'll still probably be in Korean, but there'll still be some people who speak English. But either way, the game will be fully released, the level cap will be raised, and more content will be shown, and people will be working a lot harder to actually build houses and boats and... The wars will get more intense and everything will be really fresh and I'm really excited to see all these new features or to see all the features really flushed out. But if you want you know, a little bit more information, over at uh, Massively they have a couple of videos from Staparu just covering you know, trading and a few things like mm, some more boss fights and different you know, ways you can craft and level up for making armor and things like that. So pretty cool videos, go check them out if you want to see more information on the game. Okay, more news on Akinero Demon Hunter from American McGee, the maker of, you know, the Alice games, Madness Returns, and all that. The game is in open beta. You can go play it if you want, and it's also going to be on green light by January 24th. So, hopefully it'll make it a Steam, and everything will go well for them. It's a pretty cool game. Go check it out. You know, you can download it, play it. It's an open beta. So, what's the harm? It's pretty much a free game right now. Go check it out. Okay, so I've done a little coverage on Pathfinder Online, and as I've said, it was getting close to the deadline, and... It needed to be funded, and really, it had <laughs> it had six hours to get funded. It needed thirty thousand more dollars out of its one million dollar goal. It got to thirty thousand. It is now a hundred k over its goal, so it's a you know a million hundred thousand. That's awesome. The game looks pretty amazing. I really want to check it out. I hope it does well. I I like Dungeons and Dragons themed things. I don't really like pen and paper games, but I like video games based on pen and paper games. So I hope it comes out soon. I hope they're really you know, get some steam and get the game going, and I hope it turns out really well, and I hope the extra 100k can really buy them, I don't know, extra uh, Red Bull or something to get the game done as soon as possible. Okay, so I keep doing more and more research on Cyberpunk 2077 because it's pretty new to me. I only really learned about it last week from Eddie, and, you know, they've been releasing a lot of trailers and things, so I'm now just freakishly excited and trying to get all the information I can. And with the help of a couple of recent news articles, like, you know, Polygon just released this article that I didn't even realize Machinima had an interview with the creator of Cyberpunk 20, 2022, 2020, 2022, yeah, Cyberpunk 2022, which is the original pen and paper game that Cyberpunk 2077 is basing itself off of. I also didn't know that the writer and creator of Cyberpunk 2022, the original source content, is help, helping to create and write you know, Cyberpunk 2077. He's been trying to find a team that could actually make the game the way he wanted it. And CD Projekt Red actually came to him and said, hey man, like, we love the content. Can we please make a game? These are our, our, our ideas. And they actually brought up some cool features of the old story that he had forgotten. And so he was like, okay, you guys are clearly the ones to make this game. Your games are awesome. You love the content. You don't want to change it. You just want to make it amazing. Let's do this. So over at Machinima, they have an awesome interview with him. It's Probably the best interview I've ever seen on Machinima. It's actually super cinematic. It's pretty much a documentary, but it's really short. So go check it out. So there wasn't much news today that really caught my fancy, but there was one article that had one quote that summed up the last couple of weeks for me very eloquently, and that's video games don't create violence in society. They reflect it. And I think that really sums up this entire debacle with school shootings, video games, all this garbage being thrown onto video games. Video games don't create violence, they reflect it. Video games reflect our world. We simulate things in our world. Violence will never go away. It's impossible. And video games don't create it. They are just letting you experience the things that are already happening in the world every day, every second. I, you know, I just saw a commercial talking about the dropout rate of students in schools. It's every 23 seconds a student drops out of school. That's not because of video games. That's not because of a lot of things. That's because of society. Things are going to happen. You're not going to get people to not drop out of school. You're not going to get people to stop murdering people. It's a terrible thing. But these are things that are going to happen. And things like video games aren't to blame. It's just not the case. Do some kids drop out of school because of video games? Sure, of course. Some probably drop out because they want to be apple farmers. Are apples bad? Are farmers bad? Is making a living wage bad? No. It's just societal goals, and people don't always fit them. And a lot of people don't like murderers. But you know what? Video games aren't to blame for a lot of things. A couple dropouts, sure. Some diabetes, probably. Cancer, no. 
sitting on your butt and eating Doritos and getting fat and getting cancer? Yes. All these things are intertwined, guys. And I hope you understand and realize video games aren't to blame. I'm sure if you're watching video games news show, you understand this. But for today, that's it for the news as I see it. And if you have any news tomorrow or in the weeks to come, please tweet at me at Algol Gaming or at Algol's News or hashtag Algol's News for any news articles you have. I'd love to see them. I'm always looking for new stuff, new sites, new takes on things. So if you have a fun article or interesting article, controversial article, send it to me. Give me your opinion if you have one. If you just want to show it to me, feel free to show it to me. I'll try and link you if you show it to me. But for today, that's it, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys tomorrow.